achieve rated horsepower, long component life and fuel economy, the locomotive fuel system must be reliable and easy to maintain. The EMD fuel system has provided this reliability on many models of locomotives from switch engines to SD60s. The purpose of the fuel system is to provide enough fuel for the diesel engine so horsepower can be produced. The fuel also serves as a lubricant and coolant for the injectors. A motor-driven fuel pump draws fuel from the storage tank through a suction strainer and pumps it under pressure to the fuel preheater to the primary fuel filter to the secondary fuel filters and to the injectors. Excess fuel not used for combustion lubricates and cools the injectors and returns back to the storage tank. Two sight glasses are provided to give a visual indication of the overall condition of the fuel system. The glass nearest the engine is called the relief or return sight glass. It should always be full of fuel and free of bubbles. The other sight glass is the bypass sight glass. When any fuel is flowing in this glass, fuel is returning to the storage tank without going to the fuel injectors. During operation, the fuel pump supplies fuel under pressure to the fuel headers located under each top deck cover. Each fuel injector is connected to the top or supply side of the header through the left side fuel line. Fuel flows through this line to the inlet strainer located under the nut on the left side of the injector. A small portion of the fuel supplied to each injector is injected into the cylinder at very high pressure through the needle valve and spray tip of the injector. The quantity of fuel injected depends on the rotative position of the plunger set by the injector rack and the governor. During periods of idle, very little fuel is injected on each stroke, as evidenced by the terminal shaft indication of approximately 1.76 inches. When the governor is at balance point, such as during heavy load operation, the maximum amount of fuel is injected during each stroke. Unused fuel flows out through the return filter located in the injector to the return manifold and to the bottom of the 10 PSI relief valve. This valve restricts the return fuel and maintains a back pressure on the injectors. Fuel continues into the return sight glass and finally back to the storage tank. This completes the operation of the fuel system. Discuss this with your instructor. Periodically, the fuel system requires routine maintenance. This would include cleaning the suction strainer and changing all filters. First, loosen the suction strainer housing bolts. Then remove the strainer. Install a clean strainer element. Replace the O-ring seal in the strainer housing. Apply the housing to the bracket and tighten the bolts. Replace the primary filter at this time with a new element. Begin by opening the vent and drain valves. After a few minutes, lift the spring steel retainer and swing it away from center. Lift the lock and rotate and remove the cover. Now, pull the old filter out and place it in the appropriate container. Inspect the housing and wipe clean with clean towels. 
install a new filter, and remove the old O-ring seal. Clean the cover, grease the new O-ring, apply the cover, and install the lock mechanism. Close both the vent valve and the drain valve. To service the secondary or spin-on filters, unscrew the old filter elements and dispose of them in the proper receptacle. Next, apply a small film of grease to each filter O-ring. Add the required amount of fuel system leak detector to one of the filters and apply it nearest the engine and tighten by hand. Install the second filter in the same manner. If the sight glasses are dirty, you should remove them for cleaning. Carefully loosen the nut on top of the hold-down yoke. Remove the glass and wipe it clean. Replace the gaskets under the glass. Replace the glasses and carefully tighten the hold-down fixtures. Once all components have been either cleaned or changed, the system can be checked for leaks using the black light. First, turn the starting switch to prime. The return sight glass should be full of fuel and clear with no bubbles present. If bubbles are seen, the cause is a fuel suction leak. The likely place for a leak to occur is in the area of the fuel suction strainer. Remove the strainer housing and ensure that the O-ring is in good shape and not pinched or cut. Other areas to look would be any piping joints, such as pipe elbows or nipples for cracks around the threads, or any loose unions on the suction line. If the fuel system looks okay when priming, then start the engine and observe the return sight glass under idle and full load conditions. Bubbles in the return glass now will indicate a defective injector. Locate the injector by either using a handheld pyrometer and measure the exhaust stack temperature under load, or qualify each injector using the POP test method. If no bubbles are observed in the return sight glass, but fuel is flowing in the bypass glass, this is usually caused by dirty secondary fuel filters. Before the filters are changed, however, you should remove and examine the 60 PSI bypass valve. Make sure it is the correct one and that it is not stuck in the open position. If the valve is okay, change all filters and clean the strainer. A final consideration for fuel in the bypass glass is a restriction in the fuel return line that goes back to the fuel tank. In this case, fuel will be seen flowing up from the drain port under the glass rather than from the bypass valve. You need to locate the restriction by close examination of the return piping back to the tank. If you understand the operation and perform the required maintenance, the EMD fuel system will perform reliably under all conditions.